number 12, Kanan Patrick. He'll jump against Monte Gore. East Columbus going to control the tip. I take that back. That's It's going to be a foul on South Columbus there. He sort of held him a little bit as he um, drives to the basket. I'm looking for 23, but I don't see a 23. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Underneath. In and out we go. Kane and Patrick with the first bucket of the ball game. Full edge with the bucket. Now, South Columbus, you're going to see trying to live by that three-point line here tonight. In and out we go. Almost a second foul picked up by Gore. Kane and Patrick threads the needle, gets the bucket to fall, and it's 5-4. South with long, lanky arms in the passing lane, not giving an op easy opportunity to Kane and Patrick. Patrick on the inbound, able to get the ball. South hacks him. Is that going to be two on Gore? I play. You know, it's like I used to tell my players. There's only one spot on the floor that they're trying to get to, and that's that orange rim. Kane and Patrick gets the bucket. Number three, T.J. Waddell. Around we go. Jumper by number 23 does not fall. We're going to inbound the basketball. Oh, not a good pass there. <laughs> Try it. Good job by number 12. Kane and Patrick. Over. Patrick, ball hawking senior that he is. 40% shooting. Nice, nice move, nice play. Patrick decided he's going to take care of this himself. That's probably a mismatch there with Floyd on um, him. So you might see a change up defensively. Mark. Burns teardrop does not fall. They got Aiden Patrick's three makes it a 13-12 score in favor of the home team. And you know, for yep. all the back and forth price, this is still a one-point ball game. Yeah, if you're East Columbus, you want to take advantage of that because that's your player, and you know, you want him to get get most of the shots. And you know, he did a good job in that first quarter there. 13-12. Todd's been the offense here for South Columbus. <laughs> Drops nice it off on play. Number 33, Matthew George with the bucket. Well, I'm going to tell you, um, Caden Patrick was the one that made that, made the defense come to him. He just dished it off. I'm going to tell you, Kevin, Caden Patrick's been the, been the cog in this offense here. you got, you got to focus on him a little bit. Maybe try to keep the ball from him. Patrick Astuli is forcing the defense to come play him, and now, you know, the other passing lanes are opening up for East Columbus. Going as fast as he usually does. Might be a storyline we need to watch. Patrick's thinking about it. Great entry pass. Tries to go back door. Stolen by Cole Edge. Edge. East Columbus right now has some subs in the game. Let's see if um, South Columbus can take advantage of that. Up. And just off the back rim, no good. He's wide open underneath, Kevin. Nobody fronting him. And he's going to score there. Patrick's going to take that bucket every time, Brett, if you're not going to front him on the entry pass. you, you got to make an adjustment on Patrick at halftime. He's, he's pretty much been the dagger in your side if you're South Columbus. I just, Kevin, I just think there's, um, there's, there's no continuity in any kind of offense or whatever. I mean, you know, South Columbus comes down and it looks like they're just throwing up shots. Um, but the, probably the brightest point that I see from both teams is is Caden Patrick? He's um playing really well, playing under control. Just maybe um maybe East Columbus wants to give him get him the ball a little bit more. I think Kanan has done a great job on the offensive end, Kanan. and you start to see a bit in the start of the second quarter, of Brett, of Kanan Patrick, the facilitator. Yeah, I mean, I I agree. I mean, you know, he when he gets the ball, um, he does good things with it. You know, looks to pass it, um, tries to score when he gets the open shot. But you know, he's probably been the best player on. The court tonight. The college side is going to be doing the first home baseball game 
uh, on Sunday afternoon yep. at, down at the Southeastern Community College field. Yep. We're back to second half. Julius is three, makes this a tie ball game, and we're back to ground zero, Brett. All right, I'm back there, Kev. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gonna be, you know, that's going to be the key to um, East Columbus here, trying to pull this game out as Patrick. Morgan and Scott playing a two-man game. Tip got his pocket picked. And he Here we go the other direction. Foul Dante called. going to get his fourth. Ball gets one of two. Rebounded by East Columbus, Jaden Troy. East South Columbus doing a horrible job on the blocks there, of blocking out people on the free throw. I mean, that should be automatic that you get a rebound on the bottom block there. Just out, East Columbus just out hustling South Columbus. And the frustration of Corey Sykes right now is if you're going to put a body on anybody, you're going to need to get one on Kane and Patrick. Patrick's first falls, 28-30. Two-point ball game, 526 to go here in the third quarter. Patrick's second falls, and it's a one-point game. Round to A.J. Scott. Scott thinks about it, pulls it back. Tries to force the pass to Morgan off his hands, and it'll be East Columbus basketball. And still, Kane and Patrick, not, I don't think he has maybe one foul in the ball game, and I mean, he's still the biggest man on the floor. Second call there, but quite well, get it. Patrick with the basketball, driving the lane, throws up an off-balance shot, up and good, and South East with a three-point lead. You got to find an answer for Patrick. South Columbus has not had it tonight. And I, I think, you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. I think he's going to say, you know, if we can't control Kane and Patrick, it's going to be hard to win the ball game anyway. It's an easy bucket. I think South Columbus actually has the largest lead of the ball game now. 47-39, an eight-point lead. Now here's where you need to give Gore a rest. Recipient of a nice pass. He's going to be special over the next couple of years there. Patrick back into the ball game. Through, then you've got numbers. South all over the passing lanes. It looks a bit ragtag, but it's effective. And East Columbus and to A.J. Scott. Scott's going to drive. No foul call. And looks a bit out of control. Million dollar move, up. 50 cent shot there, Kev. You know, East Columbus has played a really good basketball game. 